This program is intended for mature audiences and may contain some material that is not suitable for everyone, including violence, coarse language, and unfiltered opinions. We do not endorse the views of those we report on. Everything that Rev said in that video was nonsense. Um, and I'm actually going to try to respond to that, and hopefully they'll see this. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet they will. I think I'm going to be able to solicit a response out of them because um, of what I'm going to say in this video today. In all fairness, Rev has never been quote-unquote poor before. He's never not had any money before, so he doesn't really understand the struggle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, this is kind of new to him still. Uh, him, I mean, Shani probably has got a little bit more experience than him, you know, knowing how to navigate and learning how to survive and everything. But uh, he had little to no experience in this whatsoever. So whoever trained you to lie like this is a terrible liar themselves. Okay, so whoever told you to say those things on camera need to be tarred, feathered, and humiliated because it was just dumb. All right. So let me get this straight here. Let's say you made ninety dollars after taxes every day let's say that's all you made remember i'm not giving you saturday and sunday i'm just going to give you monday through friday because according to you you did it almost every day or every day right and since i do have a little bit of experience working in fast food i like to call baloney on that one but but anyway i'm just going to give you the five days i'm gonna give you 90 dollars a day do you want 90 times five rev would be about 400 and fifty dollars right and that's after taxes that's assuming the information that you've given us is true and we're assuming they're only taking twenty dollars uh out of your paycheck every uh week or every two weeks right so every week according to what you're saying here ref every week you're making four hundred and fifty dollars rev every two weeks rev you're almost making a thousand. You're making about nine hundred with this scenario that we're giving you here. You're making nine hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars every two weeks. Um, and as a matter of fact, let's do it on a weekly basis. So you're making a four fifty, right? Instead of using the full four fifty, what you do is you keep a hundred for you and Shani because you know your big goal is to get your own place and for you to be a man and support your woman and for you to. You know, they have some independence, they get some pride and some respect. So you use about a hundred because you ain't paying no rent, you ain't paying no light bill, you ain't paying no water bill, you ain't doing none of that stuff. So you keep about a hundred dollars of that. Keep about a hundred dollars of that to yourself, and the other three fifty you put to the side. That means you would go from, you know, obviously we started with the four fifty, you saved a hundred, so you got the three fifty plus another three fifty. That's seven hundred dollars that you would actually put away in a two week span. If you was actually an adult and you knew something about budgeting, you know, to, to go out there and get some food or whatever. I mean, everyone knows what you're really doing with the money. You know what I mean? You're not going to go out there and get no food and be responsible and save the money. You know, but, but let's just assume you're doing the right thing, right? You know full well that you can get an apartment with that. You just got to bust your behind to actually do it. Now, here's the thing. You got another capable working person in the house named uh, Shani, and, you know, she ain't trying to hear none of that. You're going to be with her. If that's going to be your baby boo, cuckoo, boo, boo, bye, whatever it is that you want to call her, then you're going to have to work. But let me tell you this, Shani. Not only are you not, okay, not only are you, not only do you not suffer from any mental illness or anything like that, okay, Shani, but you can work. You see, there are online jobs where all you got to do, Shani, and you're going to love this, Shani. Check this out. You get a chair, okay? You sit in the chair and you type and you answer the phone. It's called being a secretary. But Shani doesn't want to do that, right? Because Shani wants to get on here and pretend like she has a mental illness. Now, this is the thing that I don't think I've said on here before. I know Shani was friends with Brad Keane, but those of you who don't know who he is, he was one of the first. Uh, uh, outspoken atheist that used to speak here on YouTube, very popular with people like the Amazing Atheist, Jack Wingling, all of them popular atheists know who Brett Keen is. Shani has watched a lot of these uh, YouTubers before they became big uh, uh, make a lot of money on the internet. And she is still 
trying to get her piece of the pie, where she wants people on YouTube to feel sorry for her and to give her money. It's not just that she wants to scam people. She's got this thing in her head. If she can get enough people to feel sorry for her, she can make the big money that the other YouTubers are making. This is not going to sound like something a Christian would say, but if you think about it, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make some sense saying this, okay? I think the fastest way to cure you of your temper problem and how you talk to other men is for you to get beat up. I believe that if you got beat up by another man, that would cure you of all of this talk that you like to do to, towards other men, because you would think twice about it, okay? Now, with that being said, right, you don't have a therapist. You was not diagnosed. I'm talking to you, Rev, okay? Not Shani. You was not diagnosed with borderline personality disorder by a trained professional doctor. You was diagnosed with that by Google and Shani for Satan. All this mess about how you guys are going to the doctors and all this other stuff. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. You can fool maybe a percentage of these YouTubers on here. But uh, <laughs> you two are so anti-hospital. You two are so anti-doctor that you didn't even get your kids vaccinated. I'm just keeping it a buck fifty because you two are not vaccinated. All right. I'm just keeping it a buck fifty. Stop with other me. I saw my therapist. She said being on YouTube is bad for my mental health. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to listen to my therapist, and I'm going to go on social media and tell everybody my whole life story so that they can attack me. I get it. I understand. You got to make those videos because you got to convince the uncle that you can't work. See, Rev, <laughs> let me hit you with a little revelation news, my friend. You are the worst nephew on planet Earth. See, not only is Shani playing your uncle, you're playing your uncle. See, see, I'm not going to let you blame Danny for trying to manipulate and to control and sucker your uncle out of money and use your family. What do you think you're doing when you sit there and lie about not being able to work? When you sit there and lie saying that you, you don't have the opportunities, you two are so out of touch with reality, it's not even funny. You're just now going to food banks. You're going to bankrupt Rev's uncle. You're going to bankrupt him. Your last and final lifeline is going to become bankrupt because his unloving nephew, his nephew who's committed treason against his own family, has decided to use and play the uncle. Anything to keep that barracuda happy in that house. That is not the totality of what, what a Christian is supposed to be. That's why I don't believe you two are Christians. I believe the two of you are witches. You don't follow the principles of scripture at all. That's not even your wife. She's barely your girlfriend, and she has no value whatsoever. And Shani, I challenge you, I challenge you to make a video and explain your value. When a man gets to the point that he has to wipe your own butt, that's when you know you don't got no value. And let me take it a step further, Shani. I know you get insurance. I know you get insurance. You said on camera, well, you know, I need to get a wheelchair because it's getting very difficult for me to go to the bathroom. Shani, I don't know if you know this or not. Those things are free when you use your insurance. I don't know if you have Medicaid or Medicare or whatever it is that you have. But, you know, if, if you have Medicare, sometimes Medicare will pay the whole thing. I'm not saying that you, you don't go through pain because of your weight. I am saying that you're full of it when you say you got osteo this and you got osteo that and you got heart problems and all those other mess and whatnot. No, what you got is cholesterol issues. You got sugar issues and you got lard issues. That's what you have. I'm just keeping it a buck fifty. I showed you all the video in the opening of this. Shani punching a punching bag. OK, you can go look at how she was walking around in Colorado and she only started to not be able to work and do anything for herself when that money ran out. And Rev knows this. He he just doesn't care. She's better than a blow up doll or whatever the heck it is that he was doing, whatever he was doing with that mannequin or whatever it is that he was dealing with. And Rev, I'm sorry, dude, I got to say this. And your uncle will probably see this and probably will not like me no more when I say this. I don't believe you love your uncle, dude, because if you loved your uncle, you would never let water come in the way of blood. 
girlfriends can be replaced, dude. That uncle is literally one of like maybe four that you have in your entire clan. And you are allowing this hooker, this prostitute, this porn star like yourself to play your uncle. I'm just keeping it a buck fifty. But Reb's still walking around here and believing that she and he was working all these jobs. You know, if if, if Reb had a brain, Reb would use that Obama phone that he has or the government phone that he has, do a little bit of research and realize that Shani wasn't working at all these places for as long as she claimed that she was. A little bit of research. That's all he got to do. And you better do it before the uncle says, get out. Because when I told you guys to leave, you didn't see that coming. See, what a lot of you guys on social media don't know is that when they originally moved in that house, they were supposed to be out of there, I think, after three months or whatever, because they claimed they was going to get their paperwork and all that stuff done. They obviously ended up staying there a lot longer. But what happened was, like I said, I came in there one day. I asked them to keep the place clean because I wanted to try to sell the place. And I went in there and that place smelled like... Anyway, so I talked about that in the past. The place smelled terrible and everything and whatnot. And then I go to the tub and the tub had all of this gray stuff all around the tub. And the water went and go to the bottom. That's how much of that great stuff was in the tub. I yelled at them. And, and I think my na- the, the, the neighbor I had at the time got on my case a little bit because I was loud that day. I yelled at the both of them. I said some things to the <laughs> that y'all don't used to hear me say on YouTube. <laughs> I was pretty angry that day. And Red was like, he wasn't going to clean anything. And then he eventually thought about it, went in and wiped down the tub. And I told them that they both got to get out. Rev's uncle, if you're, um, I would use your name, but you know, I'm not going to do it. Rev's uncle, if you're watching this part, stop giving them so much money. Give them enough to be able to get some food and maybe help themselves out a little bit and give them a limit on when they have to get out. Because if, if you don't, they're going to try to do to you what they, what they try to do to me. They're going to bleed you until they get every cent they can out of you. I'm just keeping it a buck fifty. Just to prove to you I know what I'm talking about. First, it'd be for cigarettes and tobacco. Then he needs gas for the car. Then he's going to need money for Delta 8. Then they don't got no food. They need help getting the kids back. And they want to do this. And they want to do th- And it'd be a million things at one time they're going to throw on you. And for the love of everything that is holy, don't put no money in Shani's hands. Don't do it because you won't get it back. Do not put no money in her hands. Don't give her a dime. Not a dime. I am warning you, especially if it's something serious, it will go on Delta 8. She is a weed head. She worships weed, and she needs it to function. Don't give her any money. Danny and Rev, when they were living in a house that I let them live in for free, was making almost $1,000 a month off of ad revenue and wasn't giving me a dime. And I only know this because Rev told me this. And Rev is a legit victim. Rev is a victim. However, however, just because he's a victim doesn't mean that he doesn't deserve kind of what he's going through right now because he refuses to do what is necessary to move forward. And I pray that God will send somebody stronger in his life since he won't do it himself, that that person will do it for him.